boulders. In the aviation world, they are considered the top of the pyramid. And Idaho is home to one pilot who 22 years ago climbed into his tiny single-engine piston-powered aircraft and set an altitude record that hasn't been beaten to this day. And when you see how difficult it was, you'll begin to understand why. This amazing aircraft is called a Long Easy. I call it my magic carpet. To the uninitiated, it may look like a backwards egg beater with wings, but this tiny plane, built by Jim Price himself, it took me 11 years, has reached astonishing heights, just over 35,000 feet, a world record. For a piston-powered airplane, that has maximum takeoff weight of 1,102 pounds. All airplanes are wonderful, but when you're trying to set records, there's a Corolla, and then there's the Ferrari. And this Ferrari had some upgrades, including a bigger engine and these tiny tabs on the wing called vortex generators. And they will reduce the stall speed of the airplane and then also make the airfoil much more efficient. He says it gave him an extra 2,500 feet in altitude and every ounce of unnecessary weight was trimmed, even on price. And I took off about, uh, with something in the neighborhood of 43 pounds off of myself. The record attempt took him to airliner territory where the temperature was 62 below zero. The canopy froze over and he had to rely on a special forced oxygen system to survive. And should you lose oxygen, at that altitude, you're only good for about 30 seconds of useful consciousness. Another real threat is the bends, which seems to have led to an unusual rule. In order to get a world record, you have to live for 24 hours after you've done it. <laughs> Test pilots call flying to a plane's limit riding on the bubble because the plane becomes extremely unstable and can slide off to either side. Fortunately, a long easy has its tail in the front called a canard, which makes it stall proof. Price is now done with records, but he wants someone to take his place. Do you really want someone to beat your record? I'd actually like that to happen. Uh, and I set my record in 1996, and no one's been able to rank, break it, and I've offered to help others do it. But there have been no takers, so for now, Price will just have to live with his spot on top of the pyramid. Amazing pilot, amazing airplane. Price says he went through similar training as pilots of the U-2 and the SR-71 spy planes to prepare for his record flight. Well, a couple